what is up guys welcome back to another episode so today we are doing a also adding the training for the mb339 since this is the new mo the newest module we got it just got released why not let's start doing the uh training missions for it and with that the cold start I will be your instructor for this mission. Today we'll learn how to perform a good start on the MP339A. After that we will taxi and take off. First of all, adjust your seat, check your harness and press spacebar when you're ready. Harness, yep. So if you can tell... <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, we still... We still have some of the Halloween uh, lighting effects. So we got the green kicking in. And the sound effects. <laughs> Anyways, let's hit spacebar. Let's go. Set battery power switch to on. Set engine master, generator 1, and generator 2 switches to. Make sure the fuel shutoff switch is set in the open position. Set the fuel transfer switch depending on uh, if you have uh, tanks on wingtips or pylons. After that, set the anti skid switch to on. Okay, so. It's unopen. So we only have two options. It seems like. Is it wingtip or. <clears throat> that looks like a pylon. So let's do pylon and. All right. Wait, it's on open, right? Set oh, the okay. engine JPT limiter switch to on. Set internal and external lights according to the mission and light conditions. Taxi lights. Oh, if we have taxi lights. Uh, we'll bind that later. Blood lights, console lights. Mm. Can we choose? Okay. Okay, perfect. Set engine switch to on. Engine switch to on. Now start the engine by pressing the start engine button for at least two seconds. A check RPM indicator is moving to 25%. Alright, so our RPM indicator right here. So let's press and hold. Let's look at our RPM. There you go, released. <clears throat> It's interesting because we got uh, to the sound. <laughs> Twenty-five percent. Move throttle Perfect. to idle position and check RPM indicator until it is stable at forty percent. There we go. Forty percent. Now set flaps to takeoff position and check the speed brake is retracted. So let's do that real quick. Just controls. Do we have? We haven't adjusted the flaps yet. So let's do that. Access commands. That. Well, maybe not. 
flaps down, up and down. So let's do it on the takeoff panel. So flaps down. And up, and then I think this is the other thing take off and speed brakes. So we need to reverse our speed brakes. So that is an X command. So these are speed, are not our speed brakes, sorry, but our, our wheel brakes. Um, we are gonna invert that over here, invert that. And now, as you see, we have it there. Speed brakes, that's what he says. So, on speed brakes. Air brakes. Let's do that on our throttle. This air brake, but there's no... Hmm. Let's look, it's in flight control. So let's look flight control. Airframe, trim, nozzle steering. Oh, let's adjust that while we're on it. Uh, right there. And air brake, let's just, cause it's one button. We're just gonna change into that. Right. Flaps are up now. Let's take a look. Flaps up, middle, all the way down. There we go. And our air brake is this right here. Perfect. Got it. Why does it only show? Is there another step to this? Should be it. It says speed brake is retracted. Take off position. Set there we GPS go. on to activate the ADI. Close the canopy by clicking on the canopy unlock switch on your right, lower it, and use a canopy lock on your left to lock it. the ejection seat safety pin. Okay. Ejection seat safety pin. I don't wanna... There Remove the common lock behind the stick and check the stick and rudders are free to move. There we go. Sticks are free to move. Perfect. Set oxygen to on. Set on. the UHF radio to both and the VHF radio to TR. Oh. Press communication yeah. menu and ask the ground crew to remove the wheel shocks. Ah. Chief, remove the wheel shocks. They are removed. Vaziani ground, Bianco 1, ready to taxi. Alrighty. Bianco 1, Vaziani ground, clear to taxi, hold short, runway 13. Alright, so... Vaziani ground, Bianco 1, clear to taxi, holding short of runway 13. 
Let's take a look at runway one three. Let's adjust this. Now you don't have to adjust this part. This is just mine because my keyboard's a little bit of a mess right now. Um, for some reason, it doesn't read F10. I just put it on the home button. And I usually don't have an issue with it. Only certain modules. Um, I think it's the Huey. Um, and some other ones. We got they, clearance to taxi from ground control. Now press the nose that. wheel steering and check its advisory light. All right, so right and then left and then we're on runway one three. Perfect. So nose wheel steering right here. Set parking brake to off. Remember to rotate the lever to disengage. Advanced throttle to 60. Advanced throttle to 60% RPM to make the aircraft move forward. Steer the aircraft with the rudder pedals and taxi to runway 13. I like the sound that this has. <laughs> the wheel tracks. The wheel tracks should be off. Disengage, hold on. There we go. I twist it one more time, I think. There we go. <clears throat> so, clicking it doesn't do, just make sure to. Um, what's it called? like turn click and hold oh we got some pumpkins i didn't realize we got pumpkins around <laughs> that's so cool that is very cool ed nice job <laughs> so anyways just make sure you click on the speed brake and just turn it um to d actually disengage slow down a little bit And now we're going to turn into runway 13. Very cool. Stop here and wait for tower clearance for takeoff. Tatiani Tower, Bianco 1, ready for takeoff on runway 13. Bianco 1, Vaziani Tower, cleared for takeoff, runway 13. Perfect. Tatiani Tower, Bianco 1, cleared for takeoff, runway 13. Okay, now move to the runway center line. Stop and check the instruments. Make sure that they are all within the normal values. Alrighty. Apply full brakes and full throttle. And once the RPM indicator is at 100%, release the brakes. Keep the aircraft on the center line and when you reach 50 knots, disable the nose wheel steering. Release the brakes. Nose wheel steering. One hundred knots. Nose up. Nose up.
140 knots, flaps up. Flaps up. Gear up. Gear up. And now we're smooth sailing. That's any departure, Bianco 1, I'm with you. Bianco 1, Vaziani departure, we have radar contact, resume on navigation. That's any departure, Bianco 1, resuming navigation. We can exit the mission. Good job, guys. Well done. <laughs> it's a very cool plane, not gonna lie. But then again, I think I say that about all the planes. <laughs> yeah. uh, I love all the planes. I really do. It's just learning how to use them, getting used to them, and then having fun. Remember, all this is about, still, at the end of the day, having fun. If you don't enjoy it, don't do it. And eventually, I will have all the modules because I want to show you. I want to have at least a training video on start, finish, at least all the training videos for every module that's out there. I want to learn them. I want to learn them for me. But I want to learn them for you guys to show you guys and you don't have to get all the modules just get the ones that you like that entice you that you think that you're gonna be flying the most uh, I think I'm gonna be flying this mainly for I guess formation flying practice just it's meant to be a trainer so for training of course so with that being said uh, what is this? The locking? Can it be... Ha! Cool. That'll do it. <laughs> there you go, guys. Don't do that. Don't you dare do that. Maybe I should try it. interesting I haven't seen any other plane do that though Do you feel the vibrations of the wind just moving you Ooh. there it is We're a little bit better now <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> there you guys. Your startup, takeoff, and uh, a little whoops moment. <laughs> hit that like, hit that sub, guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>